my name is Officer Budge with the El Segundo Police Department. Today we're going to talk about distraction burglaries and what you can do to prevent them and what you can also do to help identify them. Some of the things that you need to look out for and what you can do to stop distraction burglars from targeting you. How this works is you'll have two criminals that target a house. They have a plan of action and to fool the resident into believing their story. They might say something such as, I'm here for a free home inspection. I was just at your neighbor's house and their pipes were leaking. There's a plumbing problem in the area and your neighborhood's sewage pipes are backed up. Criminals predominantly target the elderly and females living alone. These criminals like to be composed of a female and a male. The reason for this is the residents feel more comfortable letting a couple inside their home than just a single male or two males. Once inside, one criminal will do the talking to distract the resident while the other accomplices use an excuse to walk around the house, such as, can I use the bathroom? I'm going to check your other pipes in the house. Sometimes one criminal can distract the resident so well, the other criminal can walk around the house without the resident knowing. If a utility worker comes to your house unexpectedly, do not let them in. They should call ahead, and if you have any questions, you can call them first before letting them inside. Let the supposed worker know you already have a plumber, contractor, etc., and will call them to check out your house. And by all means, if you feel suspicious, please call the police. When you leave your house, definitely lock your doors and your windows. Do not leave valuables in plain view from outside the house. In the fourth scenario, the suspects knock on the door and the resident answers. When they find that somebody is home, they come up with a random question such as, does John Doe live here? When the resident says no, the two suspects will then walk away. By doing this, they're checking to see if anybody's home. If the resident did not answer, the suspects would then go into a scenario similar to number two, where they're going around and checking the doors and windows for anything unlocked. So the bottom line is, criminals are looking for the path of least resistance. Don't leave your doors and windows open or unlocked. If they come to your house and they knock, you open the door and you find out that it's somebody that you may think is suspicious, please call 911. Do not let them in your house.